All right, Pisces, sun, moon, or rising, or if you were attracted to the title, that's fine as well. There's probably a message here for you. Uh, this could pertain to your past, your present, your potential, and your future. Not only talking about you, but people and situations going on around you. And please keep in mind, it is a general read. So take what resonates and leave the rest for the rest. You may be called to come back at a later time and date, but also pay attention to the suggested videos after this one. Um, pay attention to the titles. Or the timestamps and the and the messages and the suggested titles after you do this one as well. I guess that's something from your spirit team. But we have focus on the positive. You are the third group to get this message. We have beware of indulging in negative or depressive tendencies. Focus on the positives. Express your feelings of gratitude. Love is your energy. Give without expectation. I feel like something's coming back towards you, though. You're you're very big givers, Pisces, and something is coming back towards you. Uh, death is an illusion. So you could be, since we've got this indulging in negative or depressive tendencies, you could be really feeling like you're getting signs or fearing death or wondering and worrying about death. And your spirit team would like you to know that you're never alone and you have a long life ahead of you right now worry on it is a wasted emotion we're just going to put that right there trust your intuition be of service to others so when you're finding yourself compelled we do have love is your energy over here being of service to others but also finding rest and saying no when we need to let's see we're going to do this deck whoa okay unicorns use your intuition to make beneficial changes this is love for yourself even if it means saying no to others okay and even no to yourself since we do have indulging in negative tendencies new opportunities possibilities and paths are opening up when you give without expectation you open up for the good to come back to you as well remember we get what we give out right let me just Shuffle this a little bit more. This deck is really thick. I actually have a few over there on the ground, too. A boat. Okay, so you could be, like, literally going on a boat ride, too. Money or prosperity through an inheritance, winning or windfall. Maybe you inherited a boat. But I would like to just pull the cards like this. It's quicker for me. We'll go ahead and get one for that, too. This one's to come out. The dog protection from a powerful friend remember that card that said you were never alone so there you could have a past on loved one reaching out from the other side as well to let you know that you are always you're always in the company of something or someone okay i psychic ability trust your intuition second third time you've gotten trust your intuition on something but trying to see it with compassion and love so also pisces you might be seeing people's true colors their darkness their dark side their shadow self their net their negative traits and tendencies so try to see the situation with compassion <sighs> family wishes coming true of course we give without expectation to our family right i scratch my back i scratch your back you scratch mine but Maybe you're in this mindset of, I'll scratch your back and I don't even care if you scratch mine later. Or maybe there was a situation, actually this is coming to mind, a situation where you did something for someone else, a favor, and now you're needing a favor in return and maybe they don't necessarily want to do the favor. But it's every right and they have every right to say no. Death is an illusion. What's coming over death? A bird flying. News is on the way. So, your past one loved one is sending you birds as well. Birds are messengers for you. Who is this past one loved one? Could be a child. Because I do have poverty here too. But it, it's a child on there. Box, you will receive a gift. This could be like a physical gift. But also, what I'm hearing, maybe you're getting the message, Pisces, that you have psychic abilities that have been passed on down to you. Because we have psychic ability and then gift. So trust your intuition and uh, be open to receiving this gift or working with it more or opening it more. 
ancestors, maybe you're researching your roots. Moving forward in re after some time and reflection. Reflecting on a situation. That's funny how we have the well here, the wishing well and the reflection. We reflect in water, right? And this arrow looks like it's going through air and water. Dance. It looks like ancestors right there. Soul retrieval, a rebirth with going within. Could be seeing arrows a lot too. Little swirlies, spirals. Truth and integrity, yeah. Huge crown chakra upgrade and third eye with the eye and the crown here. Wow, this one wants to come out too. Teacher, the wolf. Something was teaching you, a situation. There was a lesson behind it. A lesson you're learning. You are learning the lessons behind it. Your soul is learning. You're learning on a subconscious level, even if you feel like you're not really learning anything, Pisces. Could be seeing the Ankh symbol a lot too. Ties to ancient Egypt. Researching ancestry in Egypt. What else do we have for Pisces? That one wanted to come out. Lizard and dream time. Pay attention to your dreams and visions. Yeah, you could have be having some really, I just heard fucked up dreams. So Googling the significant parts that really stood out to you, even if they're kind of bad. It doesn't try to, it's not trying, you could be having prophetic dreams as well. But if you're having really scary dreams about like a lot of tragedy and blood and stuff, just look up the meaning behind it because there's a spiritual meaning and it's not necessarily something that's to come, okay? This could be what you're worrying about that these scary, crazy dreams that you're having, they seem so real. Like what if they're a prophecy? But I feel like the bad ones that you're having, I feel like that's, they're trying to tell you that it's not. It's just... There could be a certain emotion that you're not dealing with in a waking life that your ancestors are pulling you through in the sleeping life. And you have also maybe you've gotten the message about healing generational patterns and tendencies and negative traits. We have the moose with authority. You know what is best for you. You know right from wrong. You know what you should ingest. You know what you should stay away from. So it's all about making better choices. I saw a buffalo before I started this read. You are provided for in all ways. And passion. Follow your passion. And we do have dance coming out over passion. So if you want to be a dancer or if you want to look into ballet or something, you know. Don't be afraid to go towards it. This is you having to step out of your comfort zone as well, Pisces, I feel. A little stubborn, a little hard-headed. Because we've got horns here and horns here. Could have Aries placements or Capricorn placements as well. We have with you surrendering with the otter as well. Let go of control and your creativity will come to a peak. Make a decision and take appropriate action. You're going to be called to action for something. And you don't need to worry. Step away from the fearful tendencies that are trying to evoke you into not going towards what you're being called to go towards. There is going to be outer forces that are going to try to stop you. And even your ego is going to chime in and say, that's too big of a mountain. We can't make that. But you can. Don't let it stop you, okay? Don't let fear stop you, Pisces. You're here to do something big. You're here to do some really big things. Your future is bright. Just trust and have faith in yourself. Turquoise could be of significance to you as well. The panther, the buffalo, the moose, and the birds. As I say birds, goose. Take time to rest and recuperate rather than continuing your striving. Maybe that's where you're stubborn. Is that you keep going and going and going. Like you don't ever... You give, give, give and you go, go, go. I'll, I'll rest when I'm dead. You know, rest. Ain't no rest for the wicked. Whatever. But now you're being called. And look, we have mountain goat here too. And that's Capricorn. There's something out of balance in your life. So do whatever you need to do to correct it. So we can't keep striving towards pushing ourselves, burning the candle at both ends. These negative tendency might be ingesting substances, harmful substances, I just heard. Or like in my doctor one day, 
I told her that I, I hardly take in 50 milligrams of caffeine. And to me, that was a really low dose considering what I used to in the past. Like the energy drinks and the energy shots contain 150, 180, 200 milligrams or more of caffeine. And she was like, 50 milligrams is still a significant amount. And that's in my mud water. So that could be what they're trying to say is like, stop ingesting the caffeine to keep pushing yourself. When you feel tired, there's a reason behind it. It's not the weather, okay? The weather's rainy and dreary. So you feel better about resting and sitting back. Don't feel shameful or guilty for wanting to put your needs first because we know you like to give to everybody, but you can't give from an empty cup. You have to put at one point, set time aside for yourself and fill your cup back up, okay? Like attracts like. We were mentioning that while ago. You get what you give out. And there's another card here with Polar Bear. Stand up for yourself and speak your truth respectfully and compassionately with no attachment to the outcome. And the cheetah, get clear on your intention, stay focused, move quickly to achieve your goal. Maybe you've been in this stagnant healing mode for a long time, Pisces, and you're fixing to get the energy that you need the to go towards these achievements. You will have achievement and success. And you're fixing to have a lot of energy come up within you. You're going into a good time of fortune and great abundance. Be willing to receive all good things in your life. Don't be afraid to think outside of the box. Don't be afraid to voice those ideas. I feel like some of you do think differently than others. You th see things on a different level than others do. Maybe you notice things in a situation that others don't point out. True crime is coming to mind. So maybe you're like, why didn't they do this? Maybe you're an avid watcher of that show and you're like, they should have done this. They should have asked this person. They should have looked over here. They should have checked out that, you know? That's because your perceptive is different and you're, you're very intuitive. You're very psychic. I hope this helps. I hope it resonated. If it did, if you could hit the like and subscribe button for me. Greatly appreciated. You helped my channel grow. Greatly appreciated. I said that already. So things could be repeating in your life. Repeating messages. Listen to them. It's your ancestors trying to show you something, okay? Listen to that inner voice. The good one, okay? It's not... If something comes in and is talking down on you or trying to talk you into doing something that's not for the betterment of your greatest mental or emotional or physical health, then that's a low vibe energy or entity, okay? There's no reason to be scared, but you can tell it to, hey, we don't think that way anymore and we're not going to go that route anymore. If you would also like a personal read, my contact information is below. And make sure you check out anything else that comes up for you after this video, okay? Love and light, Pisces.